Hello and welcome to a short video tutorial from Transformer Tech Inc. Today we are going to show you how to leverage Monitor IT from Goliath Technologies to create a custom monitoring rule that will watch the WebStream message broker process. In the event that the broker stops running, we will configure Monitor IT to send us an email notification with this event. And the steps to do this, first we're going to create a custom process watch monitoring rule. Then we're going to create an email notification and finally we're going to test this scenario. All right, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is make sure that our broker is running as of right now. We can see that it started and running, and we also have our bitbroker.exe uh, process is running, and we're gonna, this is what we're going to be monitoring, make sure that it's on all the time. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Monitor IT, give it a full screen. We'll go to the monitoring rules, and inside the monitoring rules, we're going to create a new one. And Monitor IT can monitor anything in our IT infrastructure that has a process, a service, generates log files, is SNMP enabled, or generates syslog messages. Today we'll be using the process watch to make sure that our broker process is always running, and in the event that it's not running, have it send us an email notification. So we'll select process watch, hit OK, and we're going to call this BitBroker. That's what we're going to be looking for. And we'll give it a quick description. Watch our broker process. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and add the process name here, which is bitbroker.exe, and we're going to put the process path here. The path is in case you wanted to restart this process after it uh, stops working. And we're going to set the severity level to critical because if our broker stops working, that's going to give us a lot of problems. So we'll see um, a red critical level. Uh, as soon as it happens. And then in the sec selections, we're going to add our machine here. And you could add multiple groups here, multiple servers, multiple machines that you monitor to apply this rule to. And then we're going to go into the notification tab and we'll leave the email tab in. We'll check this checkbox. We're going to add in the email address that we want to send this alert to. All right. And what's most important is setting up SMTP server parameters for this email. Mine are already set up, so we don't have to go through and do that. And once you hit OK, it's going to give you a notification to test it. And we see that this tested correctly. We can use this process watch to watch any process that is running on the server we are monitoring. Also, this monitoring rule gives us capabilities for mediation by allowing us to restart the process. Uh, we can run any program, run a script. If this process stops, uh, do, a, do a bunch of different things that's going to allow us to immediately fix this problem as soon as it happens. So we're going to go ahead and save this. And once we hit save, we can see that the process watch uh, monitoring rule has already been added and it's ready to go. There's no need to restart or anything like that. As soon as we hit save, it's already monitoring this process. All right, now we can go ahead and test this. First thing we're going to do is stop our broker. And we're going to open the test manager. We see the bitbroker.exe process, which is what's being watched. And as soon as this goes away, our monitoring rule is going to activate. It's going to see that the process is gone, and it's going to send us an email. So we'll hop back into Monitor IT. We'll go to the dashboard. And we see everything is green right now, and that should change to red. All right, now this is red. We see that the process watch and the monitoring rule activated. We can go in to see it, and we can see that the process watch, here's the alert type, and we can see the action taken was an email was sent. Now we can hop into our email. You can see that an email was sent. Uh, it has our server name right here. It has the description, the IP address, has the, the watch name. It also has the process name that it was watching, and it shows the status that the process is not running, no longer running. Thank you for watching this video tutorial from Transforming Tech Inc. on using Monitor IT's custom monitoring rules to set up a process watch on IBM's WebSphere message broker process and creating an email notification when the process goes down. Make sure you check our YouTube channel for more video tutorials on WebSphere message broker and Monitor IT.